the greatest name in cereals presents Wild Bill Hickok! Hiya, folks. Hold on to your hats and pass those Kellogg sugar corn pops. Because here comes Guy Madison as Wild Bill Hickok and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We got another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops! Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, Revenge of the Red Man. Say, boys and girls, when Mother makes out her next list for the grocery store, make sure Mother puts you down for new Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. And remind her to load up big on Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops because the whole family's gonna go for them. Then you'll have plenty around for breakfast and for snack time, too. Let's take in today's exciting adventure. Deep in Indian territory, the council fires of the Pawnee tribe burned high. A circle of grim faces streaked with war paint surrounded Chief Fire in the eyes. Each word the old chief spoke meant added danger to United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his deputy Jingles, who were at that same moment rushing to stop the terrifying Revenge of the Red Man. Listen, my brothers. Three days back, my son, Flying Antelope, go to find Wild Bill Hickok. Bring him here. Many times, Wild Bill Hickok proved that he is friend to his Indian brothers. He will tell us what to do. Chief Fire in the Eyes has spoke. <laughs> Hear what Black Wolf say, my brothers. White man promised Pawnee tribes as many fat cattle as there are feathers on prairie chicken. Give none. Is it not so? <laughs> While we wait for White Man Hickok, we starve. Next to reservation, there are many fat cattle on the range of Rancho Baines. We go there, take cattle. If white men try to stop us, we kill. <laughs> No, do not listen to Black Wolf, my brothers. He is traitor to his tribe. All right, all right. The first one of you feathered galoots that moves ain't gonna move no more. There, Sheriff, I told you old Chief Fire in the Eyes was fixing to go on the war path. Looks like we got here just in time. Yeah, thanks to Black Wolf and his warning. So, Black Wolf, you make plan to betray your tribe. Black Wolf friend to white men. Yeah, yeah, I reckon you are, Black Wolf. All right, Chief Fire in the Eyes, you're coming back to jail with me. I come, but Sheriff make big mistake. Don't listen to him, Sheriff. Take him in. All right, Chief. Get on this horse I brung. We'll nip this engine uprising in the bud right here and now. All right, Sheriff. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, Brains, we're going. Now, Black Wolf, you get the rest of them braves out of that war paint and put them to planting corn or something. Come on, Baines. We got the chief. That'll stop the trouble pronto. Now, my brothers, Black Wolf, your chief. No longer do we wait. Now we take cattle. <laughs> Black Wolf is wise. He has tricked the white fools and the old chief. When flying antelope bring Wild Bill Hickok, they too shall feel the cunning of Black Wolf. <laughs> now, my braves, go among the herds of Rancho Baines. Bring back fattest cattle. There shall be a feast of plenty in Pony Camp before the owl speaks again. Black Wolf has spoken. Well, Bill, there sure better be something mighty bad going on at this reservation. Any time I ride this far and this hard, I don't want it wasted. Just hope we're in time to stop an uprising, Jingles. Well, Bill, you look near big river bank. Oh, but you. Oh, oh, Joker. Well, what is it, flying antelope? Funny braves steal cattle of Rancho Paints. A raiding party. Yeah, doggone it. You mean we're too late? Maybe not. 
We'll put a stop to this right now. Bill, they've got guns. I don't like the looks of this. Bad medicine. Come on, we'll figure out some good medicine to cure them of wrestling. Hi, about you. Hi. Jump, Joker. You heard what Bill said. <laughs> You'll have to talk to him, flying antelope. Me talk. Not do much good. Bill, those red devils are shooting at us. Hold up your hand. It's sign of friendship, Eagles. All right, but that shooting don't make me feel very friendly. See? Stop. All right, pull up right in front of them. Don't look so scared, Jingles. Bill, they're working their way around us in a circle, and they ain't putting down those guns, neither. Easy, Jingles. Easy nothing. Something tells me your curiosity walked us right into a trap. Doggone it all anyway. Howdy, partners. Here's your old pal, Panhandle Jim. Doggone, but we sure do enjoy these shows, don't we? Just sitting back, listening, and chomping on her Kellogg sugar corn pops. Now, I'm talking about the new ones. Man, oh man, these even sweeter sugar corn pops are crisper and more delicious than ever. But say, for those of you wranglers who haven't had the chance to taste these new sugar corn pops yet, let me tell you how to recognize them down at the store. They come in bright new yellow packages with big pictures of Guy Madison, who was Wild Bill Hickok, and Andy Devine, who was Jingles, right on the front. Just like in real life. And that's not all. On the back, you'll find Wild Bill's famous gun cutouts. So get to them soon, huh? And now, let's do our little uh, sugar corn pop song. Yippee! Sugar pops. They're sugar coated, tastes so sweet. Just pour on some milk. Oh boy, they're neat. Kellogg sugar corn pops. Sugar pops are tops. Now sugar pops, you know, are sweet. But cowboys know there's an extra treat. Right out of the box, take a handful out, pop them into your mouth as you run about. Kellogg sugar corn pops. Sugar Pops are Pops. In order to learn more about the trouble on the Indian Reservation, Wild Bill Hickok made no resistance when a Pawnee raiding party surrounded him and Jingles and the chief's son, Flying Antelope. Immediately, they were taken to the Pawnee camp and marched up before the chief's rustic throne, now occupied by the treacherous Black Wolf. Bill, you shouldn't have let him take our guns. I don't like the painted devil's look. Easy, Jingles. Let's see what he has to say. You, Black Wolf, why do you sit on the throne of my father? Where is Chief? Fire in the eyes has been taken by Sheriff Black Wolf, great chief now. Black Wolf, lie. He will die. Braves, take them. Try them well. No, you don't. Take them, Jingles. I'm Black Wolf. Bill, there's a hundred of them. Let me go, you sneaking varmints! Let me go! It's no use, Jingles. I've got us. Oh. Now, now you see who is chief of Pony. Die flying antelope to council stake. Got him well. Black Wolf will die for this. By my forefathers, I swear. You, Wild Bill Hickok, you not stop, Black Wolf. Oh, I wonder what makes my scalp feel so loose. You will be tied on face of Sacrifice Rock. It makes Sun God happy. The vengeance of the Great White Father will be great upon you and your people, Black Wolf. Black Wolf, not fear, Great White Father. When he cannot keep promise to give cattle, he cannot be strong in vengeance. What's that, Bill? That's part of what we came here to find out, Jingles. It is? Well, I don't see what good it's going to do us tied the spread eagle out on the face of that rock. Come, my braves. Bring rawhide wet with salt to tie prisoners to sacrifice rock. <laughs> Bill, why you reckon they tied us with rawhide soaked in salt water? Makes it tighten up fast in the sun, partner. Oh, well, it's already cutting into my wrists and ankles. And that sun's blistering my face. How about you? Same here, Jingles. Black Wolf did his job well. Well, you 
reckon this is the end of our partnership, Bill? Don't think about it, Jingles. Just keep working at those rawhide thongs. Uh-huh. If we don't get them loose soon, we're going to give those buzzards a treat. No. Now, Bill, don't talk like that. Now, go away, birds. Shoot! <laughs> Pennington, like I told you, my plans are just working out fine. Couldn't be better. Yeah, Mr. Baines, but... But nothing. With you as Indian agent, sidetracking the Pawnee's beef cattle over on my range, and Chief Fire in the Eyes locked up in jail, why, I'm sitting pretty. Yes, Mr. Baines, but... What are you worried about, Pennington? Nobody's gonna get wise. But what about Black Wolf? Ain't he gonna get suspicious about them cattle, just like Chief Fire in the Eyes did? Ah, don't worry about Black Wolf. Well, that sneaking rat only wanted one thing, to be chief. Now that fire in the eyes is locked up, Black Wolf's eating out of my hands. What about Wild Bill Hickok? Flying Antelope was sent to fetch him, and if he finds him, you got trouble aplenty. Don't worry about Hickok either. Black Wolf will know what to do with him if he shows up around the Pawnee camp. Well, I don't know. If Hickok comes... Now, look here, Pennington. <laughs> don't you go getting yellow. No, 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 Mr. Baines. Please, let me go. All right. But you just remember to keep your mouth shut and keep shipping them cattle to my range. You can trust me. I don't trust nobody. Now, remember, you haven't seen me. I'm going down to play a little chess with the sheriff. The sheriff? Sure, we're old pals. Besides, it gives me a chance to keep an eye on what's going on. Buzzards are getting closer, and I can't hold out much longer. Can't even move my hands now. These rawhide thongs have almost dried up, and they're cutting my hands off. Sorry, I got you into this, partner. Oh, now don't go talking like that. You didn't know Chief Fire in the Eyes was in jail? I'd sure like to get a chance to talk to him. Bill, shh, Bill. There's a pack rat gnawing at the thong on my left wrist. Well, don't breathe. What do you suppose is making him do that? The salt. He's after the salt. Well, I sure hope he wants a lot of it. Uh Uh-oh, Bill. My nose itches. I'm afraid I'm... I'm afraid I'm gonna sneeze. No, Jingles, no. You can't do that. You'll scare him. (laughs) Now you've done it. Don't got it. And and it it was just started. Where'd he go? If I can just turn my head a little... Oh, there he is. He's peeking around that rock. Here, Ratty, Ratty, Ratty. <laughs> Here, Mousy. Pretty little Mousy. Come and get some more salt. Oh, come on, Mousy. Here I move, Sheriff. Yeah, yeah, I know it. Oh, wait. I can move my knight right over there. And I move my queen right in between and checkmate. <laughs> oh, no, no. Dad Bernard, why'd I do that? That's three straights you took me. You beat me all the time, Baines. Yep, Sheriff, I guess I do. But don't take it so hard. Now, who's that coming in here without knock? Hickok! Well, what in tarnish? Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles. Howdy, Sheriff. Uh, here, man. Here, sit down. Here, sit down, sit down. Oh, what, what in thunderation happened to you? No time to talk now, Sheriff. Are you holding Chief Fire in the eyes here in jail? Yeah, I sure am. Baines and I went out and nabbed him just in time to stop an Indian uprising. I want to talk to him. Well, sure, but... Say, mister, did he say your name was Baines? Why, that, that's right. Well, Bill, wasn't that the name that Flying Antelope said Not that... now, Jingles. No. Well, what happened to you, Wild Bill? Where's your gun? Well, I guess you might as well know, Sheriff. We were taken by an Indian raiding party. Yeah, and there was rustling cattle off your range, Mr. Baines. What? That's right, Mr. Baines. Black Wolf's boys figured to get fat eating your beef. Why, that low-down thieving redskin. I'll have his hide for this. I wouldn't go off half-cocked, mister. Well, I'll... I'll go on out to my ranch and see how many head I'm missing. Uh, see you later, Sheriff. Yeah, and I'll have that talk with fire in the eyes now. Yeah, okay, Bill. Uh, so long, Baines. Uh, come on, Bill. Well, Bill Hickok, my brother, you have come. Yes, Chief. 
Yeah, but we got delayed a little here and there. Chief, I figure you got a lot to tell us that we don't know yet. There isn't much time, so spill it. Oh, he's the one who started it himself, Bill. He was going on the warpath. I'm afraid you're wrong, Sheriff. But Bain said Black Wolf told him all about it. Bain's dead? How about that, Chief? For many moons, Indians not have cattle. Great White Father in Washington promised many cattle. But... <laughs> Bill! Billy's hit. Come on, Jingles. He's killed the chief. But, Bill, we got no horses. We got no guns. Well, I got guns I can give you. And there's two horses out back. Here, here. Here's guns on this peg. Take your pick. Yeah, I got mine. These will do. Come on, Jingles. See you later, Sheriff. Bill, the Jasper that fired that shot could be clean to the Baker's River by now. I guess you're right, Jingles. But we'll see if we can pick up his trail. Come on, boy. Hi. Come on, you plug. I wish I had Joker now. Go, you sway that guy, you scrap. <laughs> What are you doing back here? No. No. You ain't gonna do no squealing on me, Pennington. No. I got two more to get. Out the back way before they catch me. Bill, I can see his dust trail now. Yeah, we're catching up to him, Jingles. Bill, that shot wasn't meant for us. No, it sounded like it. Come on, Jingles, he's turned here to the right. Bill, Bill, there, there, there's a log cabin and it says Pawnee Indian Agency. B. Pennington Agent. Yeah, partner, I thought so. Pull up. Whoa, boy, whoa. Oh, oh, Jughead. What's the hurry, Bill? You figure that Jasper's here? Here or been here, Jingles. Well, I don't see. Bill, they're on the floor. Yeah. They'll have to get a new Indian agent. Well, where's the man that shot him? Just one jump ahead of us, partner. And I'm hoping we can catch him before he gets to his next victim. Come on, let's go. Hey there, buckaroos. If you got some buddies around your territory who haven't heard about new Kellogg sugar corn pops, you be a good neighbor and pass the word along about sugar corn pops in the bright yellow box. And don't forget to tell them Kellogg Sugar Corn Pops have got this new name because they're sweeter and crisper than ever before. And whether you eat new sugar corn pops out of the box like candy, like I do listen to the show, or out of the bowl with milk at breakfast time, they just couldn't be better tasting. Oh, and doggone, don't forget yourself either. Make sure your mom's got a good stock of Kellogg sugar corn pops around your ranch, too. If not, you better gallop down the store and get a load of them first thing tomorrow morning. Well, now, kids, let's, uh, let's hum along with our little song here. Yippee! Sugar pops. They're sugar-coated, taste so sweet. Just pour on some milk. Oh, boy, they're neat. Kellogg sugar corn pops. Sugar Pops are tops. Now, Sugar Pops, you know, are sweet. But cowboys know there's an extra treat. Right out of the box, take a handful out. Pop them into your mouth as you run about. Kellogg Sugar Corn Pops. Sugar Pops are tops. While Bill Hickok and Jingles were too late to save Bain's second victim, Indian agent Pennington. But Bill was hoping they'd catch him before he had a chance to kill again. He and Jingles rode hard into the night. Bill, who are we chasing? I reckon it's Rancher Baines, Jingles. Baines? That fellow we saw at the sheriff's office? Yep. We'll stop here and leave the horse. Whoa, boy, whoa. Whoa, whoa, boy. Bill, you mean we gotta walk? Yeah, unless you want to go charging in like the cavalry. Well, I sure don't care for no more walking. Well, we don't know where our killer is, Jingles. Well, what makes you think he's here at all? I'm just following a hunch, partner. 
I figure there are two more people he'd like to get out of the way. Who's that, Bill? Flying antelope and black wolf. Hey, hold it. What do you see, Bill? A leathered horse. Our killer's already here, all right. We've got a fine flying antelope. Come on. Well, I had him tied to a stake, Bill. Hey, we ain't going out in that compound again, are we? No. Come on, take a look through the trees. There's a stake. Yeah, the flying antelope's not there. That means he's in one of those teepees or dead. Here, let's try this one. I'll be ready for anything, partner. Flying antelope? You in there? Nobody there. Come on, we'll try the next one. Uh, in one of these, we're going to run smack into a mess of wildcats. Bill, I don't like this a little bit. Quiet, Jingles. Let's look in here. Hey, Jingles, there's something over there. Yeah, Bill. Don't move whoever you are or you'll go to your happy hunting ground. Hey, Jingles, I think we found him. Light a match. Okay. Bill, it's him. Take that gag off his mouth while I'm on time. Sure. Oh, boy, these Indians are the tiniest Jaspers I ever saw. There. Howdy, flying antelope. Why, Bill, you get away from Black Wolf. Did you find my father? Yes, but he was killed when he tried to tell us of his trouble. My father killed? Yeah. You're now the rightful chief of the Pawnee tribe. But now we've got a little unfinished business. Come on. Oh, are, are we going back into that mess of Indians, Bill? we still got to find veins. Well, just look for the next fellow he was going to kill and go there, and you'll find him. It's easy. That's just what I'm going to do. You think Baines killed my father, Wire Bill? I'm almost sure of it. Hold it a minute. Bill, there he is, slipping up behind Black Wolf. With a knife in his hand. Come on. Stop where you are, Baines. Hey, Who's there? Hickok. Drop that knife. Yeah, you double-headed sidewinder. We caught up with you at last. Watch Black Wolf, Jingles. You ain't getting me, Hickok. Black Wolf, turn them engines loose on these vomits. My braves, take prisoners. And I'll take you yourself, Hickok. Stand right where you are. <laughs> well, now, all of a sudden, everything is peaceful and quiet. Keep Baines and Black Wolf covered, Jingles. I've got something to say to these braves. Well, they sure look in a listening mood. Go ahead. Braves of the Pawnee, your great chief fire in the eyes is dead. Now you have a new chief, Flying Antelope. Tomorrow, there will be many cattle to feed you. Tomorrow, the sun will shine on the Pawnee tribes. I am your friend. I promise these things to you. All right, Bill, let's take these two Gila monsters back to the jail and lock them up. Right, Jingles. Wait. Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles, you have been a brother to Flying Antelope. Now... I make you Indian chief. What? Huh? Us be Indian chiefs? He means honorary chief, Jingles. Oh, Bill, I couldn't be a chief. Why not, partner? Oh, every time I'd go on the war path, I'd have to wear one of those big war bonnets, and feathers would tickle me till I'd laugh so much nobody would believe I was mad. <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison, and Andy Devine. Be with us Friday, folks, when Andy and I will be back with another Wild Bill Hickok story for you. Yes, sir, and it's all about a little kid who leads us into gunfire and trouble, trying to identify the mark of the killer. Meanwhile, Andy and I also hope you'll remember to get Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Right. It's a great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. You bet it is. Andy and I think Sugar Corn Pops are great. So long. See you Friday. <laughs> Yes, sir, Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Tony Barrett, Harry Bartell, Joe Duvall, Tom Holland, and Forrest Lewis. Our director is Paul Pierce, music by Dick Orant. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. And don't forget to listen Friday, same time, same station, when Wild Bill Hickok follows a trail of gun smoke to the mark of a killer. Now... This is Charlie Lyon speaking for Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops, the cereal with the sweetening already on it. Kellogg's Corn Flakes, America's favorite ready-to-eat cereal. And Kellogg's Rice Krispies, 
the world's only talking cereal.